All right, we've got a few things going on for you this weekend as well. Besides getting ready for the big game, take a look at my Friday weekender. Two-time Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Rod Stewart belts out his decades of hits at the Hard Rock Casino in Gary Saturday night. And get in the mood for Valentine's Day with the Ladies R&B Kickback Concert featuring Drew Hill, Genuine, and many more Saturday at the Chicago Theater. Seven-time Grammy winners Mexican superstars Los Tigres del Norte played the Allstate Arena in Rosemont Saturday. Blues legend Ronnie Baker Brooks is at Space in Evanston. And the 64th annual University of Chicago Folk Festival is in Hyde Park through Saturday. Practically everybody's stressed, yes, but they press through the mess, bow shakes and wonder what's next. On stage this weekend, Lin-Manuel Miranda's Tony Award-winning musical In the Heights is playing at the Marriott Theater in Lincolnshire through March 17th. The apocalyptic comedy Flood is now playing at Theater Wit through March 9th. The Goodman Theater presents Dana Delaney in the new drama Highway Patrol. Catch it now through February 18th. And Chicago Theater Week is underway, where you can pick up discount tickets for more than 80 productions in the city and suburbs. To find a theater near you, take a look at chicagotheaterweek.com. And the cop pulled me over. They never tell you what you do wrong. He sticks his head in the window. He goes, do you know why I pulled you over? I said, excuse me, I'm on the phone. For laughs this weekend, SNL veteran Kevin Nealon comes to the Comedy Vault in Batavia through Saturday. Also through Saturday, it's Chicago's very own Emmy Award winner Jeremy Piven doing stand-up at the Improv in Schaumburg. Also, the Chicago Auto Show revs up its engines Saturday through February 19th at McCormick Place. And celebrate the Lunar New Year at some of the great Asian restaurants around the Chicago area and at Navy Pier's Grand Ballroom Saturday night. And you can get more info on things to do for the weekend, my home video picks, full movie reviews, all when you scan that QR code on your screen. And that will take you right to a link to get more information. We've got one new movie that's opening this weekend. It's a comedy horror fantasy called Lisa Frankenstein about a goth teenager likes to hang out in graveyards and accidentally reanimates a hunky young corpse. A little bit of a clever takeoff of the Frankenstein legacy, but this really never clicks as either a comedy or a love story. I gave it a Dean's List C. Let's get a check of some weather. Hello, Paul. Hi there. We're